Hey, this is Scott Toffee Bonsai. Today we're going to look at two different adapters for the EFM system. I have a Viltrox EF EOS M2 adapter. It's the Speed Booster 0.71X, and I have the standard Canon adapter. I have one single EF lens at the moment. It's a 135mm f2.8 soft focus lens. So don't expect the best quality wise when we're looking at the images at 100%, looking at the corners or whatever, to get an idea of these two adapters and see if this speed booster really messes with the image quality. But did take it out a few times with the two different adapters. Of course, there will be a different field of view. It'll look different in the images. Build quality wise they're both mostly metal which is good. With the Viltrox it is black in the back but it is still some type of painted metal. It does have the tripod connection. Now the main issue with this adapter is if you remove a tripod connection with the hex tool that it includes. There are basically just two holes in there and they go right into the adapter. You can see through it. Put some tape on it or whatever. Not a huge deal but it is the worst part of this adapter in my opinion. The Canon one's quite a bit better. It's easy to remove, it's quick. Of course, you can lose that little piece super easily as well, which is not good. The Viltrox does have a micro USB port inside the adapter. You can hook it up to a computer and update the firmware. I did try it out. I'm at version 1.4 with this video. With the M50 and the EF 135mm lens, tolerances seem very similar with the Canon adapter and the Viltrox adapter. I do wiggle them a little bit. There is some shift in both setups. Very similar though. I haven't noticed any issues with lost connections or anything like that. Autofocus wise, really didn't notice any issues with the Viltrox versus the Canon adapter. They both worked pretty nicely. Now let's take a quick look at the video autofocus with this one lens and the two adapters. One great feature of the Viltrax adapter is that it does adjust the data coming from the lens to the camera. So you effectively have a 95mm f2 lens in this situation and it does push that data into the files. So when I can pull the files on a computer, I look at them and it says 95mm f2 lens and it gives me the proper aperture I was at. That's really great for even just sorting the files, knowing which ones were taken with which adapter. Are you ready to go 100%? We're going all the way in with image quality. I'm gonna go over some things that I did see in the photos. We're gonna look 100%, look at the corners, look at the center. The biggest optical issue that I've seen with the Viltrox is vignetting. You can adjust that, of course, with software pretty easily, so it's not a huge issue, but definitely the sides can get pretty dark. If you use a maximum aperture, probably more pronounced with a wide angle lens. I don't have one to test, of course. Aberration wise, I haven't noticed any real issues with this specific lens and the Viltrox adapter. Now there are some differences, maybe some softening on the corners of the image, but again, with this specific setup that I'm using, it's not a huge difference. Actually, in some situations, I see a little bit less color fringing with the Viltrox, but it's probably based on how the aperture is measured and adjusted with that setup.
It's great that the EFM system finally has a speed booster available to it with the build tracks. Of course, image quality wise, maybe it's not the best. There is some vignetting and such, and the corners are probably not as sharp as they could be with other adapters like a Metabones, but it is relatively low cost for what it is. Overall, I think it is worth picking up if you want basically larger apertures and wider lenses but in this situation with wider lenses you have to really try and see because I don't know how those will turn out. That was a look at the Viltrox EF EOS M2 adapter 0.71x speed booster. Hope you found this video interesting. If you did please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again. Twenty seven minutes of mistakes. Mistakes.